Good day, everybody. Today we'll talk on the test for magnesium, magnesium ion. Magnesium is a metal. It is a gray metal. Magnesium is a group two element. Its valency is two. It reacts by losing two electrons. It forms compounds with magnesium having oxidation number plus two, Mg. Two plus. This is Mg two plus. Magnesium is a reactive metal. Magnesium reacts with oxygen to give magnesium oxide, a white solid. A dazzling flame is seen. Magnesium compounds are white in color. Magnesium oxide is white. Magnesium sulfate is white. Magnesium compounds are soluble in water. Those who are soluble are magnesium sulfate, magnesium chloride, magnesium nitrate, magnesium ethanoate, magnesium hydrogen carbonate. Magnesium oxide is insoluble, whereas magnesium sulfate, magnesium chloride, magnesium nitrate, magnesium ethanoate, and magnesium hydrogen carbonate are soluble in water. Magnesium oxide is insoluble. Magnesium hydroxide is also insoluble, and magnesium carbonate is insoluble. Magnesium sulfate. It is magnesium sulfate. It is a white solid. It is soluble in water. The solid is white in color. It dissolves in water to give a color solution. This is a solution containing magnesium sulfate. It has dissolved in water. It gives a colorless solution. Magnesium sulfate solution contains magnesium ion aqueous and sulfate ion aqueous. Today we are going to test the presence of magnesium ion in a solution. We can use either sodium hydroxide solution or we can use ammonia solution. When sodium hydroxide solution is added to magnesium solution, a white precipitate is formed, insoluble in excess. It does not dissolve in excess. If to another solution containing magnesium, aqueous ammonia is added, a white precipitate is formed, insoluble in excess. These are the two tests for magnesium. I have here a tube. This is the magnesium solution. I take a small amount of the magnesium solution. I add sodium hydroxide solution. I observe a white precipitate is formed. If I add more of magnesium of sodium hydroxide, the precipitate will not dissolve. Insoluble in excess. If I take another solution, another portion of the solution, one centimeter cube and to this i add aqueous ammonia this is aqueous ammonia i add slowly aqueous ammonia i observe carefully a white precipitate is formed when i add more of aqueous ammonia the precipitate does not dissolve what has happened in fact the magnesium iron has reacted with a hydroxide ion present in sodium hydroxide solution, present in aqueous ammonia to form the white precipitate magnesium hydroxide, insoluble in excess. Insoluble in excess means if more NOH is added, the precipitate does not dissolve. This test is very important because it, we can use it to differentiate between magnesium and zinc. If to zinc you add excess NUH, the precipitate will dissolve. 
whereas if magnesium is present, you have excess sodium hydroxide that precipitate will not dissolve. So to test magnesium, we use aqueous ammonia, we use aqueous sodium hydroxide, both give white precipitate insoluble in excess. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time for another lesson. Goodbye.